Do you want your stream to look not like this? Where it's super blurry, super choppy, you can't read anything that's going on on the screen. You can't read in the top right my frames, my ping, and all you see is flickering squares all around the screen. Well, uh, I'm going to show you because first off, let me just open up the other video to show you what the results are going to be. So the results of this video should make your stream look something more like this. The results of this video should make your stream significantly cleaner. As you can see on here, it's not perfect. It's not one to one, but you can at least read my frames, my ping in the top right. You can see what, I, what I'm looking at on the screen. You could see the text in the bottom left where the chat is. You could see what my teammates' names are. You could see the ammo type. You could see my face and you could see my eyes. You could see all these things. And um, the thing is, is that as the other video, I'm going to pull it up again. As in this video, I am not using my webcam, but instead I have the model up. Uh, you can clearly tell that this is a lot blurrier. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. So we'll just, uh, we'll, I'll just get right into it. As you can see, OBS is open, and there's three things that I want you guys to take into consideration. Is one, following the steps in this video, you will not be able to stream with ultra low latency. Two, you need a moderate GPU if you play, um, if you play a lot of games at higher frame rates and you expect higher frame rates, you will need a better GPU. It, this video will make your computer a little bit more taxing, but it will significantly improve the stream and then three well i hope that you can do this because if you can it will greatly improve the quality of your stream like i said so first all you want to do is go to your settings second output if you have an nvidia graphics card you will see things like i do if you have amd you will see things a little differently either way you want to follow as shown so control uh, rate control CBR bitrate you want it to you want to have bitrate between 10,000 and 15,000 that's the sweet spot if you go higher as long as your internet can handle it you will be fine and you will actually be better if you can go up to 20,000 solid with your internet not hitching you are going to have really nice and really clean streams but if you can't you can't and that's fine um so between 10 and 15,000 Keyframe interval, I have two seconds. You could set it to zero if you want. I set mine to two. Preset is P6, because P7 is not necessary. Uh, tuning, high quality, multi-pass mode, single pass. Profile is high, look ahead is turned off, and cycle visual tuning is on. Max B frames, two. Uh, I usually run the instant replay with my uh, OBS running while I'm streaming, hence why I do not have look ahead because look ahead does take more out of my computer next you want to go to your video settings and you want to stream in 1440p the reason is is that streaming in 1440p will force youtube to give you vp09 if you don't know what vp09 is you can quickly search up vp09 on youtube and you will find countless videos on the subject now if you stream in 1440p or 4k or even 8K whenever that becomes possible, you are going to force YouTube to give you VP09. This may change in the future, so while it isn't changing anytime soon, or at least right now, uh, currently in 2023, you would want to take advantage of this. So, 1440p, so that's 2560x 1440. You make a custom output resolution, and then you just slap that in there. Downscaling filter, I recommend by Cubic or Lanxos. One of the two, either one is good. Review your video feed whenever you want, and make your decision. Common F FPS value types, this is what I suggest. 60. The reason is, is that I tried 120, I tried 100, I tried 90, and I tried 75. Uh, frames per second. I tried streaming with all these frame types and YouTube did not accept any of them except for 60 and lower. So ideally just stick with 60 for now. I may or may not try this again in the near future to see if everything will crash again. So we're going to see how that goes. But as of right now, all it does is it, it forces you to stop streaming, fix your settings and then continue streaming. So don't even try it. Don't even try it. I tried it for you. So in doing all of this, this is all you need. Uh, any questions, leave it down in the comments down below. Feel free to like or dislike, I don't really care. 
and I will catch you guys later. My name is Nave. Peace.